So Derby County in white attack the goal to our left. Fulham in an all change strip of red on a crucial afternoon. And it's unthinkable, really, a few weeks ago to believe that so much could be resting on today's game. With Fulham at one point this season, 12 points clear of the fourth club in the promotion race. And Derby County on a real roller coaster season were once nine points away adrift at the bottom. And then 15 games without a defeat and then defeat in their last two has suddenly put them right back into trouble again. Derby needing a point and Fulham wondering what's going to be happening in the game between Leicester City and Burnley. Good jump there by Coney and Gordon Davis going through. Was he shoved? The referee had a good hard look at it. And for a moment, Derby were in terrible trouble. And the shove came from Foster, but it wasn't an unfair one, according to the referee. Hit on there. Davis was through. Foster is after him. Foster playing the ball. And I would say the referee was right. Rolly. Oh. Gale and again to Lewington Gale made in for Wilson and now for Davis and Emerson getting it away that wasn't very good though straight to Gale and now Robert Wilson oh and that's an interesting ball there and a, sh and a header that was just kept out from Coney and Davis, I think, quite properly is claiming that he was pushed. And Peter Taylor, needless to say, was worried by that. So Fulham in the red strip, get the second half underway. And the next 45 minutes will decide just what sort of rewards there will be for these two clubs after nine months of real hard slog. Bington. Derby are warming much more to their task in this second half. Emerson taking on uh, Hopkins again, and Hopkins had the pace that time. He goes, oh, my word, that was a real swipe at Hopkins there by Hooks. Rolly with the header. And hit into the roof of the net, superbly there by Davison. volley into the roof of the net the fans are on the pitch the dogs are on the pitch to get them off Fulham's promotion hopes seem to be shattered and Derby look as though they're going to survive in the second division Staying up, staying up, staying up is the cry from the baseball crowd. And Malcolm McDonald knows that the long, hard struggle could end in failure for Fulham and how they must be regretting their three successive defeats a couple of weeks or so ago. Back with Roger Brown to the goalkeeper and there are quite a few fans already on the pitch and the referee surely isn't going to allow that. All around Steve Cherry's goal as Hopkins comes forward. Now with Gale. Remarkable scenes behind that goal as Davis goes in and there's the header saved. Look at that. They're actually on the pitch. The whistle, uh, in fact, the whistle had gone and the flag was up. They're offside. Gives you an idea of the depth of feeling for football in this great old footballing town. That survival in the second division can generate as much excitement as this has today. Coming to the last minute or so of the game, Houghton played in for Gale. 
to Harden again. Oh, did Cherry get a touch? Yes, he did, because the corners indicated. He's a very good strike indeed by Houghton, and just tipped away there by Cherry, you could see it. But getting the corner taken might be a little more difficult. In its way, in its very small way, we're back in Wembley in 1923 when the crowd were on the touchline and the cup final was being played then between West Ham and Bolton. Today it's the baseball ground, it's Fulham against Derby County and Dale trying manfully to get a shot in. But Derby on the break again, and it's Butcher who's made a tremendous break. And then couldn't quite gather up the ball, and they get it back to Jerry Payton. They're well on the pitch now, all the way around the fans. Emerson. And it's Brooks now for Derby County. Behind for the goal kick. Played only two minutes of injury time and uh, he's looked at both lines when the thumbs were up. Malcolm McDonald knows it's the second division next season. I don't think he's all that happy with the uh, with this crowd. I've never seen uh, he was saying anything like this. Can't believe it. And I honestly feel that it can't be right. The last minutes might be a formality, but it can't be easy for the players out there. Lock, Lewington, played on again towards Wilson, the crowd gets back, or at least tries to get part, back partially behind the lines. Wilson once again, and it was actually tackled by somebody in the crowd, the linesman's flagging, well that was always likely to happen, and I mean it's a crazy situation now. I'm not at all sure that effort shouldn't have been made to get put the uh, crowd behind those barriers the moment they started to appear. Once they were allowed to come through, they were followed by others, and now, of course, it's a situation that's totally out of hand. There's no way you're going to get them back behind the barriers. And they're right around the goal, for example. It's all very well for the policeman to start waving them back. I don't think he's got a chance. And he's back in the crowd again. And they're all around the goal where Steve Cherry is in that derby goal. It's a crazy situation. Lewington now with the uh, throw. Now Gale, crossed in once more. Brown heading it on. Wilson's there too, looking to get a volley in, but couldn't manage it. They still can't get it away. Now they can. Well, the loudspeaker is imploring them to get behind, but... There really is whistling in the dark, but the final whistle, and Derby have survived. Whether they survive this invasion might be another thing. Fulham know that they have to play in the second division again next season. Their promotion run is over. They are beaten by Davison's goal, and Derby know that they have survived the threat of a drop into the third division, and the celebrations start now at the baseball ground. Earlier, the quite incredible scenes as the crowd encroached onto the baseball ground pitch. Let's now look again at the end of the match. The Fulham goalkeeper, Jerry Payton, with a ball, and as he kicks it downfield, the referee blows his whistle. Everyone thought it was full time, but apparently it was for offside. There was still one minute and 18 seconds on the clock, but clearly the referee had no chance at all of restarting. <laughs> 